going to talk about weight transfer and the importance of transferring weight properly. The first thing that we want to understand about weight transfer is that weight transfer will typically follow the, uh, uh, the path of the club and the arms if done properly. So as the club moves back, so does the weight. The weight moves back to the right foot. As the club moves down, the weight is still on the right side because the club and the arms are on the right side of the ball from the player's perspective. And as the club approaches the ball, then the weight starts to transfer through the strike. We want the weight to actually transfer through the strike while we're hitting it. Why? Because we actually pick up a little bit of velocity from weight transfer. And I'll give a demonstration here uh, using a California skateboard. <coughs> Please do not try this at home. This is for demonstration purposes only. But I wanted to make the point that weight transfer can actually increase the velocity of the club through impact. And I'm going to demonstrate here with this uh, skateboard. I'm from California. If I pressure off the right leg and I transfer my weight, I can actually pick up speed. And we'll see this here. I'm guessing uh, maybe with the proper golf spikes in a, and the right surface, I might be able to get the thing moving maybe a little faster than I can walk. So four or five miles an hour maybe, which could transfer into club head speed. So somebody swinging 100 miles an hour, proper weight transfer might help them get the club head speed up to 104, 105 miles an hour. Another thing that the weight transfer does, by, by transferring weight through the strike, we can actually shallow out the uh, path of the club head through the ball. So the more shallow our path is, uh, the better the contact's going to be, the more a direct hit it is than if we're coming down at a descending blow and hitting the ball with a glancing blow, which we want to do maybe you know, for chip shots and, uh, and pit shots and stuff like that. But for anything approaching a full swing, we want to have the weight transfer <coughs> through the strike. So the problem is, for most people, is that there's a tendency to want to transfer the weight to the left side because, for one, they're not accessing the 430 line. And it, and it appears that the shortest distance down the ball is just a, a straight uh, kind of axe handle chop down with the hands. So there's a tendency to just want to do that. Uh, kind of intuitive to just want to get back to the ball quickly. The long way is really the, the down and behind. So um, the more spine tilt that we add, the more we bow to the 430 line, that'll help us get our weight uh, in the proper position for both the backswing and the downswing. So it, it's kind of like a, a gear transmission in a car. You've got a little bit of this shifting of gears. So as we transfer weight, we want to pressure down first before moving ladder it, laterally. We go down and then we go over. So what we do is we pressure down and then we, we push off the right foot as we move through the strike. Down and push over to the left. And we want that, that push to be happening through the strike. So we're moving down and through the strike. It's OK for the uh, left heel to, to, to get up off the ground. Better, better that it gets up than falls back. I mean, ideally, we want to keep as much surface area on the ground to pressure off for as long as we can. But we certainly don't want to not transfer weight and end up falling back on our right foot. And I see a lot of that uh, with golfers that, that try and they get obsessed with uh, the right foot being flat on the ground. And they end up swinging like this. Well, okay, you got a flat foot, but you didn't get any weight transferred. So really better to see this. And you do see a lot of players, a lot of great players, have, you know, got up. Gary Player, for one, very up on the toe. And Curtis Strange, another Hall of Fame player, very up on the toe. Myself, I tend to get up on the toe sometimes when I'm playing well, which is fine. 
as long as we're pressuring and we're transferring weight from the right foot to the left. So again, uh, this ties in with stance with also the wider the stance, the more range of motion there is in the weight transfer. I remember when I was a kid, uh, 13 or 14 years old, and I was looking at the guys that were uh, just getting ready to head off to college, and I thought, gosh, if I could only hit the ball as far as, as they did. And I remember when we'd go out and play, and I'd always try and you know, hit it as far as I could. And I, and I just remember the first thing I did was I always took a really wide stance, just intuitively. I'm just really wide in my stance because I somehow just kind of knew that you know, getting a lot of weight transfer was going to help me hit the ball farther. The, a wider stance and proper weight transfer will help you hit the ball farther as long as you are doing both. Why uh, transferring the weight? But the wider stance also allows for a quicker tempo because you've got more structure over here in this right leg. And I've, I've got another video that talks about that as well. But this all works together. Tempo, wide stance, and weight transfer. So we go back, we go down, and we pressure over. Uh, some of you may have seen the uh, one-legged videos that I hit, that I posted on the internet uh, a while back, where I would hit, hit a golf ball with one leg, it would strike, hit the ball, and my foot would plant after the strike. Strike like this. Okay, so what's happening here is, in a, a lot of times in a, in a still shot, you'll see a, a player whose leg looks uh, very much this way, and it looks like all the weight would be way over on the left foot. But if I'm pushing, pressuring in a still shot, I could have a look like all my weight would be on the left side, but the still shot doesn't show the dynamic activity of what's actually happening where I'm actually pushing off the foot. So we need to take that into consideration when we're studying golf swings a lot of times. <coughs> so again, we take it back, pressure down, and we transfer through the strike. Now when we get to chip shots, then something where we're more concerned with making just clean contact, and we don't necessarily need the, the full power, then we can set our weight on our left foot, and we can hit a little chip shot, and we can just kind of leave it there. And with a pitch shot, anything really going to P1 or just beyond slightly, where you're not necessarily trying to get any kind of maximum velocity. We can set up on the left foot, and we can just strike from here. So that's fine. But anything approaching a long shot, uh, I love the wide stances, I love the quick back swings, and I like a lot of a lot of weight transfer. Forget about the head, head's going to go where it goes. Got another video that talks about that, uh, what's acceptable and what's not. But for now, a uh, good thing to practice uh, a little bit is just kind of right leg, left leg, and you can just hit little shots and just get the feeling of weight transferring. It's a good way to start out.